Good evening, my name is Chris. I'm here today to talk a little about uh, Olivia. That solves a very interesting problem that I believe uh, most people in this room does not have. That is money. Uh, usually when we talk about money, we forget one thing, that money is the number one cause of stress in the US. 75% of people report stress, the reason is money. And that's no surprise. Most people in this country live paycheck by paycheck. They have no savings. They are seeing the spending increase, and most of them have debt. And when you think about these problems, we usually think that is, hey, that's one event that happens that screw up with your finance. I bought a car, I bought a house. But surprisingly, we make six to 10 financial decisions every single day. And each of these decisions, they affect our financial health. And another myth is people don't want to help, but most people want to help. But what happens is, when they look for help, most of the solutions, they fit in three categories. One is, let me use a website, let me use an app, like Mint. But the challenge of these apps is, they tell you the what, they don't tell you the how. They tell you, Chris, you are over budget in groceries, but they don't tell Chris, that's how to save in groceries. So people don't, cannot take that much action or use your bank accounts, just check your balance every day, or you have that crazy spreadsheet to control your budgets. So it's no surprise that is a uh, majority of people in the US do not have any control or tracking of their money. They don't have a budget, they don't have a page that they follow where they spend their money. That's why we decided to build Olivia. So what is Olivia? Olivia is a financial assistant that's powered by artificial intelligence that help people to stretch their paycheck and spend their money better. So how Olivia works? So usually we say that Olivia is clever, not complicated. What's not complicated? Uh, Olivia talk with you like a friend, so like in a messaging app, she sends you a text, you reply, and that's how it goes. And what you have to do is just download the app, connect your bank accounts, and Olivia work in the background and send you a notification when there's an opportunity for you to spend your money better. And how does she do that? So she'll learn about your habits, about your finance, and for example, she'll see that today you can spend 50 bucks. She's going to let you know how much you can spend today. Most people think they can spend way more than they can actually uh, have available. Second thing, she'll tell you, hey, looks like you do groceries on weekends. Most people don't know that the groceries on Wednesday nights are cheaper than any other time of the week. Or she can come for more sophisticated things like, uh, hey, looks like you need to renegotiate your auto insurance. If you didn't renegotiate in the last two years, for sure you are overpaying. So she comes with what we call actionable insights. There are things that you can easily execute and save a uh, few bucks when combined. They are a lot of money. So how we make money? Olivia Go, as I said, is stretch your paycheck and save you, on average, our users today, they save 10% of their income compared when they're not using Olivia. What's well, quite good because uh, when you're promoted in your job, usually your raise is 20%, so get a half raise does not hurt. But the question is, okay, that's how I make money as a user, but how Olivia makes money? So we make money in a very interesting way. We don't sell ads, we don't sell your data, we give you what we call target offers that are ways that I sponsor from somebody, uh, a partner company, to help you to save money. Uh, and how, uh, how the math works for us. In the last uh, months that we are running our alpha and beta, we acquired customers that are $5. We made on average 18 bucks uh, on each of them. And if you combine everything, Olive is probably an opportunity to make a $100 million company in revenues that with a five, 10 times multiple can be a very decent business. So that's a little about Olivia. Go to oliva.ai, uh, sign up for our beta, and uh, if anyone's interested in see a demo after the presentation, I can show you what to do. Thank you very much. So many questions, but the first one is, what's this Wednesday night cheaper groceries thing? I don't know, I've never ah, heard of that. <laughs> so let me answer that. So what Olivia does, she 
uh, we, we create a curated database of uh, how to save money because that's wide available. You just Google, you can find multiple ways to save money. The challenge with financial literacy in education is uh, people cannot observe all that information and remember. So what Olivia does, for example, in groceries, we teach her that is Wednesdays is when uh, the grocery store uh, uh, publish their promotions for the week. Okay. And in the night is when the fresh products like bread, meat, or vegetables, usually they got on sale because they want to sell fresh products the next day. So we have about 100 different ways to save money. And Olivia, when he lear she learns about you, she tries to match this curated database with her understanding about you. Sorry. Uh, I have a ton of questions yeah, as it relates ahead. to the, the challenges of onboarding a new customer. So That's a nice question. Both in security as well as in ease of use. Good uh, question. So if you could address both of those Absolutely. as it relates to onboarding, that'd be great. Let me talk about onboarding, and uh, let me talk also about privacy and security, because uh, both are very interconnected. So our onboarding process is, is we, we test a different uh, onboarding process. And uh, we, f we found some, some steps we cannot avoid, uh, because if avoid, you cannot uh, deliver any value. And there are same, some steps that are kind of uh, uh, common sense, but you are able to figure out another thing that maybe is better sense. So let me give you two examples. Our onboarding process, uh, that is no login, user, password, nothing. When you open the app, it's purely conversation. So like you are open your Facebook Messenger or any other Messenger app, you open Olivia, Olivia starts talking to you. And Olivia does not ask you for any personal identifying information. She only asks, how should I call you? May not be even your name, it can be a nickname. And then the onboarding process, we explain you why you need to connect your bank accounts, and we explain you how you handle your data. So how you handle people's data? Only if you want to be a trusted advisor. There's a lot of companies that make money selling data. I have nothing against it. But we thought that is for financial transactions, sell data may not go that well. So, once you connect your bank accounts, Olivia is going to try to figure out everything from your transactions. So when you connect with your bank account, people think, hey, you have my name, you have my address. No, we just have the transactions. And based on the transactions, you can basically learn everything from a person. That's why the CIA, they have three ways to learn about people. Communication interception, that's not our business. Second one uh, is trash. You can learn a lot about people from trash. That's what they try to do with Bin Laden. In our case, it's financial transactions. So we try to learn things from you without having to ask you. And the way we do is everything we do is encrypted. And everything we figure out about you, we don't share with anyone. In the end of the day, it's like any relationship you have with your bank. You need to trust the bank to give data to the bank. So I can go in a much more detail on the privacy and security, but we can talk later about that. Uh, you actually answered my initial question okay. there, but I just want to give a quick piece of feedback on okay. the screen where you had the like revenue potential that sure. you did. Um, something I've actually learned having done some pitches before is when you did the iteration of like 10% market share and how you mm -hmm. uh, delved your revenue from that, like mm -hmm. some investors might not respond to that very yes. well and expecting a 10% market penetration is probably generous. I yes. was also unclear about the offers that you said you would mm -hmm. Uh, be providing, and I'd like to know more about that, but I didn't really get that from the presentation. Okay, uh, let me use my 30 seconds. First, about 10%, that's true. Uh, that's a lot of debate about the 1% versus another approach. Uh, but the offers is, we see where people can uh, uh, save money. Uh, we are basically people that l likes math and statistics, so we create a bell curve with possible profiles, and then we match these with what we have in the database from partners. And that's how we find the offer. We don't take your data to the partner. We bring the offers from the partner and match with your profile. Okay? Absolutely. Thank you.